than one little machievy machieve. And welcome to Storytime with Liz. I hope you're well. Today we're going to be reading this beautiful book. And this book is called Ten Minutes to Bed, Little Dragon. And it's by Rhiannon Fielding and Chris Chatterton. But first, let's head over to the blurb to find out what the book is about. Come on. It's ten minutes to bed, but little dragons, flash and flicker, are not ready to go to sleep. Join them as they sweep through the skies on an adventure, counting down to bedtime as they go. Shall we read the story? Come on then! <clears throat> ten minutes to bed little dragon. Above a black mountain that towers so high, bright jets of flame burst and light up the sky. Ten minutes to bed, the air hums with a sound and the soft thud of beating wings echoes around. Everywhere dragons, look out below. They zoom through the sky in a fiery red glow. It's nine minutes to bedtime and no one flies quicker than one little mischievous dragon or flicker. Speeding along, Flicker soared and he swooped. He flew through the sky in a huge loop-the-loop. -loop. I'll race you, he called to his big sister Flash. Eight minutes to bed, so you'd better not crash. The other young dragons were all well behaved. Seven minutes they flew home to nest in their caves. But in all the commotion, not one of them spied. An egg rolling fast down the steep mountain side. <gasps> Flicker and Flash were not ready for bed. A little bit further, six minutes, they said. Darting and diving, they laughed as they flew. Two streaks of colour that burst in the sea. In the distance, a rainbow shone bright in the sky. A unicorn wish, whispered Flash with a sigh. Five minutes to bed, we should turn back around. But a brother had seen something down on the ground. <gasps> with a whoosh, Flicker landed, his small wings spread wide. Flash followed him, tiptoeing close by his side. On the ground lay an egg that shone purple and black, and as Flicker watched it, it started to crack. <gasps> Sniffing it gently, he nudged with his nose. The lost egg rolled forward and stopped by his toes. Four minutes, said Flash. Can you carry it, Flicker? He smiled. There's no other dragon who's quicker. He picked up the egg and then taking great care, Flicker launched himself upwards back into the air. Three minutes to bed, the sky had grown dark, but Flash lit their way with a shower of sparks. Soon, flying swiftly, the two dragons saw the distant black mountain Two minutes to bed, said the bird as it passed. You're nearly back home, but that egg's hatching fast. They settled the egg on a small pile of leaves, where a big mummy dragon looked very relieved. Crack! First a wing, then a tail, then a horn. The new baby dragon emerged <gasps> with a yawn. <gasps> 
Helen. Flicker and Flash crept back home to their nest. One minute to bed and at last time to rest. They stretched out their wings and they snuggled up tight. And soon they were soaring through soft starlit night. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story. And I hope you join me next time when we read some more amazing books. In the meantime, stay tuned to find out how you can help. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that book and you would like to purchase yourself a copy, the links are in the description below, along with all my socials where you can contact me further to find out more information. Thanks guys, bye! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you'd like to see more of my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks guys!